over the last decade or so that I've been lecturing, I've been watching shifts in examinations, examination style, assessment style, levels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The the difference is not oh the exams are harder or they expect students to know uh, more detail and more theory than they have in the past. In fact, in a lot of cases, they're they you know a lot of the professions, a lot of the syllabus actually is stripping details out of the syllabus. But what they're focusing on is completely different. One of the biggest most obvious differences is the fact that there are far more discussion-based questions now than there were in the past. In the past, most of your assessments were calculation-based, format-driven. You know, you need to create the financials, uh, you need to disclose something, you need to present something, you need to journalize it, you need to calculate it, basically. Whereas a portion of assessments that are now requiring you to discuss why something is that way or discuss how it works, calculate it and discuss why it works that way is a phenomenal shift. The reason it is so crucial for you to be interrogating your study strategy is because as stuff changes, your approach needs to change. Because the topics themselves don't necessarily change, students don't understand why it's not working anymore. So you're just doing the same thing all the time and expecting that it's just going to continually work for you because you're doing the same thing, only harder, more of it, better. Fine. But now we have a fundamental shift in skill and you're still doing the same thing. So the examiners are now looking for that and you're still going there. This is a massive issue for most of my students. And they the problem is, they go, but Yvonne, I'm doing what I've always done. It's always worked. It's always been there for me. And I don't understand why? Why is this not working? Have I become stupid? I don't know. Then I get into the exam and I see, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what's going on. And I studied. I did my stuff. I did everything that I'm supposed to do. I did everything. What is happening? Fundamental assessment shifts mean that you need to sit back and go, if I carry on doing this, where will this take me? And if my goal is over there, how do I get there? What do I need to do? Do I need to change what I'm doing? Do I need to add something? Do I need to take something away? What do I need to do? And I can tell you, things are changing, right? Things are changing. You need new skills. You need new skills. It's as simple as that. Things are changing. As things change, the, the stuff we've always done is now starting to become a little outdated because the stuff that we're preparing for kind of doesn't exist anymore. But no one's really told us that. So we're not sure what to look for. We don't really know until it's too late, until we write the exam, realize that we have no idea what's going on, don't know where to start, don't, don't even know. Like, And then we either decide that perhaps the profession isn't for us or maybe we're stupid, or maybe we just didn't study enough. Um, you know, we should have done, we should have studied more. We should have studied harder. We should have done more past papers, but something's not working. Our studying approach hasn't been designed or actively adopted. It's been, it's just happened along the way. And there are changes. There have been fundamental changes to requirements, and we haven't been taught how to assess them and how to adjust or think about whether or not we need to change the way that we learn, the way that we study, and the way that we think about studying in order to ensure that wherever that goal moves and wherever that outcome moves, we are following it.